So we've gone over the plan view in Adobe Muse and now we're in the design view and we know we're in the design view because we have the design option here selected right up here. And in the design view, you have the toolbar here. You have the control bar right up here at the top and you have your panels over here to the right. So over here to the left, we have the toolbar. We have the selection tool where you can select your elements in Adobe Muse. We have the crop tool where you can resize images in Adobe Muse. We have the text tool where you can add text to your website. And we have the rectangle tool. Um, the design view is where you'll add all your elements and actually create your web pages for your website. Very good. So we have the rectangle tool there. We have the hand tool where you can select elements and move them around. And we have the zoom tool where you can zoom in and out of your Adobe Muse website. If I select the zoom tool, I can hit uh, option on my Mac keyboard and zoom out or I can let it go and I can zoom in. Very good. So that's the toolbar over here to the left and you'll use this quite a bit when designing the elements of your website. And right up here we have the control uh, toolbar where you'll have more control over the different elements of your Adobe Muse website. So if I create, let's say, a rectangle and I draw a rectangle and now I can, I have more control over the rectangle. I can change the fill to any color. I can add a stroke to this rectangle and select the color of the stroke. I can make this rectangle have uh, rounded uh, corners with the uh, corner radius tool here. I can add effects to this rectangle, I can add a shadow, I can give it some bevel, and I can make it glow. Um, I can add a hyperlink to this rectangle, I can you know, say HTTP Google.com, and that'll link this rectangle when you click on it, will now go to Google.com, or you can set any link there if you'd like. You can add an anchor here in the control bar, um, and you know, you'll have your different anchors on the web pages, and there'll be another video on anchors. Uh, as well. So I'll just delete this here. But basically Anchors allows you to uh, link within your, your web page, that particular page. Uh, I can set this rectangle as a footer. Uh, I can pin uh, this rectangle anywhere. And that just means it's fixed so it doesn't scroll with the rest of the page. Uh, it just stays fixed in a fixed position on the web page. And I can change the location of the rectangle rather than selecting it and moving it manually. I can change the location here on the X and Y axis. And I can also, if I click on any of the X or the Y, I can change the width and the height of the rectangle. And I can constrain proportion, the width and the height. And I can change the uh, rotation angle here. And I can set this rectangle 100% width by selecting the 100% width button. And now the rectangle will uh, stay proportional with the browser. It'll change the width with the width of the browser. And it'll be 100% of the browser width. And I can also align this rectangle within different uh, with different elements on the website. Uh, so that's the control toolbar. And I can change the states as well here. Uh, over here to the left where it says rectangle, I can change the different states. So if you, um, if you do rollover, mouse down or active or normal, you can change different colors and different options for the different states here. Okay, so yep, that's the control uh, toolbar right up here. And I can also change the browser fill. Uh, when I don't have any element selected, I can change the browser fill to different colors as well. So I'll go over these in more detail in other videos, but this is just a quick overview of the design view in Adobe Muse. And over here we have the panels, which I will be going over in other videos as well. We have text, color, swatches, uh, widgets library states for the different states of your elements scroll effects uh, character styles graphic styles paragraph styles bullet styles glyphs bullets a wrap um, bullets and wrap that's for text you can kind of wrap your text around different elements differently uh, glyphs are for uh, web fonts that you can use as uh, graphics and then we have our layers panel our library panel which is mostly used for widgets and we have the different assets that we've added to our adobe muse website also, if I go to window, I can see a few more panels that I can add uh, to my panels here to the right that I can work with. Um, so we have quite a, quite a few more here. We have spacing, stroke, uh, transform, warnings, uh, and you know I've went over character styles. 
Uh, so yeah, we can have a few of the different panels that we like to work with for our Adobe Muse website. It's very customizable, so I can move different panels in different places. I can pop out panels so that they're uh, more accessible when I'm working on my website. And uh, yeah, just th different things like that to make my uh, workflow in Adobe Muse a bit quicker and easier. And yeah, customizable to how I like to work with websites. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the design view in Adobe Muse. Uh, I'll be going over the preview mode in late in the next video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.